Hey everybody, welcome to Rob the Zombie Killer's YouTube channel. I have been doing all kinds of computer related builds for the last several years and uh, since I started get doing more complex and elaborate work, I decided to start sharing some of the things that I've been doing. Uh, tonight is actually sort of a test video because I haven't done any videos for a long time and uh, I wanted to just do something that was kind of fun uh, because I just love talking about computers. I love working with computers. I love, you know, doing all kinds of different benchmarks. Uh, I love optimizing configurations. I like working with all kinds of different products to see <coughs> what configuration I can you know, zap the absolute best possible performance and value. Um, so anyway, I just love working with computers. So <clears throat> I decided to start doing some videos because some of the work that I've been doing lately has been pretty interesting actually. And um, I just, uh, <clears throat> I enjoy watching YouTube videos myself on all the different, you know, new tech that's coming out. I, I love seeing other people's ideas for you know, custom builds and elaborate rigs, and uh, I actually do sell a fair amount of custom builds myself, anywhere from budget computers to some pretty complex and elaborate workstations. So, <clears throat> anyway, what I was going to do tonight was uh, just do a video just for fun, um, taking a GTX 770 out of this gaming rig and putting it in SLI in this gaming rig. Um, the actual graphics cards themselves are the MSI uh, GTX 770 2GB version. What I am going to do is just show people exactly where the performance <coughs> of a single GTX 770 card lies when it's not overclocked. I'm going to put a reasonable, sensible overclock on one card. Um, I'll show you guys what the results of that are on some benchmark tests and then I'll take another card <coughs> um, put it together uh, in SLI on this build um, do another bench before I put any kind of overclock on it and then I'll put a real um, conservative overclock on both cards and just kind of see exactly what kind of performance gains you get when you put two cards in SLI so um, I'm sure there are tons of videos out there already on GTX 770 SLI uh, configurations, but um, I didn't have anything better to do tonight and I wanted to do a video, so I'm just going to have a little fun with this. <laughs> I did the benchmarks and uh, I was pretty impressed with the results. Um, I've done this before so I do know that how well the cards perform uh, together but uh, it's always cool to see you know how quickly uh, you can blast through the fire strike um, you know uh, benchmark test and uh, see what kind of frame rates you get on Unigen Unigen Heaven so um, <clears throat> Anyway, it was kind of fun just to put them together and see what they could do. A um, couple of comments that I have is, uh, one, uh, when you're only running two gigs of uh, RAM on the video card side, uh, that's a pretty significant limitation. So if you're running games at higher resolutions, it's probably not a very good option for you. Uh, the other thing is that um, I only have a 750 watt power supply in this build. And when both of these cards are pulling 250 watts each, it's probably not enough. Um, obviously, I was able to complete all the tests and um, do everything I needed to do tonight. But long term, I, I certainly wouldn't recommend only having a 750 watt power supply for this exact rig. Um, the great thing about the 900 series GTX cards are that their power consumption is almost half of these. The GTX 960 pulls about 125 and the 970s pull about 145 so 
um, significant power savings with the newer cards, which is something I really like about those. But anyway, um, I'll uh, post uh, the video, or uh, the benchmark results. Um, I think they're kind of interesting. Um, hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, please uh, go ahead and click the like button. Um, certainly open any comments or feedback or suggestions on uh, anything else you guys would like to see in the future. Uh, and I'd love it if everybody would subscribe too. So again, thanks for checking in. I'll uh, post the results for your viewing pleasure. And um, thanks for watching Rob the Zombie Killer. Take care, guys. See ya. I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. Girl, you just don't realize what you do to me. When you hold me in your arms so tight, you let me know everything's all right. Taste is on my